video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. Um, today, this is going to be my first video on tutorials for advanced. Um, so, um, I made like a little smiley face there. Uh, now let's go ahead and just like delete everything. Anyway, um, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you uh, how to make values now um this is, now because this is the first video um like i'm not really that advanced myself uh but um i think but i think values are actually kind of advanced uh when scripting um oh sorry uh anyway so i'm just gonna go in a workspace and then i'm gonna create a bool value so uh, a bool value is a true or false value. Um, like if it's checked, it's it's true, and then if it's not checked, it's false. Um, and it always comes up as value for the game. Um, I'm just gonna call this bool. Uh, I guess we can go and insert a brick color. Um, this is just a brick color value. Uh, values are really really useful if you want it to go for a lot of different parts it can save you it can definitely save you scripting um anyway uh so let's just make so hold up let's just go ahead and insert a bool value and a color three value so here's the bool value. I'm just going to call this bool. And then I'm going to call this color 3. So um, let's just go ahead and go in the script that I put in server script service. Um, we're going to, so um, you should already know this for the advanced, um, for the advanced tutorials, uh, how to make variables. Uh, if not, that card will be in the screen right now um so let's just go ahead and we're gonna make part one um we're gonna make part one the color three value of this so let's just go ahead and um i'll go ahead uh let's go ahead and turn that up um let's go ahead and make this just completely blue um, now, what you could do is, um, is, I'm just going to call this parts1 equals game dot workspace dot part1. So, now, what you want to, so now, um, what you want to do is, you want to do parts1 dot... And then we can uh, go ahead and make the, I would say, uh, like the color, the color of it. Uh, oh, I don't know what that's called yet. Um, we got brick color and then color here. So, and then color, if it will show up here. So what you could do is you could do color three dot from RGB and then if we want it to be blue we would do zero comma zero comma two five five so then it would be blue um, and you can see this is part one and then it'll be blue or we could also um, if we want it to be for multiple parts we can we can do um, um, you can also make a variable for this uh, we can do game dot workspace dot color three dot value and then this can uh, definitely work for multiple values instead of having to always copy and paste um, you can also just type in one word here actually um, I'll go ahead and copy and then I'll just do uh, color value equals and control V um, so uh, and if we go ahead and run it 
the part also should turn blue. Um, and the reason why is because the value of this is blue. Um, so we can also, so because we already have a variable, I'm just going to do color, color value. And then this should turn blue, uh, right there. It's blue. Um, anyway, so now say we want both part one and part two to be blue and also, and also the transparency to be 0.5. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and make a variable for part two, uh, whoops, two equals game dot workspace dot part two. So, um, we're going to make, uh, these, uh, uh, here, uh, let's go ahead and replace this bool value. And let's go ahead and, re and replace it with a, I don't know why my mouse went down there, um, with a, I forgot what, I forgot what kind of value this was called, I'm so stupid. Uh, transparency, what kind of value is this? Um, so we want a value of one, what's the value of one? Okay. Okay, so I guess it's just a number value. Um, uh, anyway, uh, so let's just go ahead and make a number value. Um, we're gonna call this, uh, uh, number. So, um, now let's go ahead and make our variable for our number. Uh, number equals game dot workspace dot number. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and put our parts one to um, num to the number value uh, uh, our transparency of it um, then equals and then we're just going to do number. So now this could also be really beneficial um, to making multiple parts um, a different color if you always wanted to change it because all you have to do is just go in here and change the value to whatever. Um, anyway, so we got our values um, for part one and we're just going to change this to 0 0.5. So, um, let me just go ahead and make part two this as well, dot color equals color value, um, part two dot transparency equals number Let's go, and let's just go ahead and put dot value in here. Um, so now these parts should be blue and their transparency should be 0.5. So let's just go ahead and run it. And you and now you can see that their transparency is 0.5 and their color is blue. So let's just go ahead and stop the script. Um, ignore these errors. These are just... Um, uh, plugins, uh, oh wait, no, these are like assets and stuff. Um, anyway, that's, that's not really that important for what we're doing. Um, so now let's go ahead and make them, uh, here, let's go ahead and move these parts up real quick. Let's move that up. And then also just move this up just like that. So now, these are not anchored at all. So if so, if you run the script, just give it a second, you see that they fall right to the ground. Now, say you want you want it to be anchored through multiple parts. You can just add in a value for that, a bool value. I'm just going to call this. Oh, whoops. Uh, 
bull. Check those out. Um, and then you, and then the bull value, like I said earlier, it's a true or false value. Uh, this is true and this is false. So uh, let's just go ahead and go into our script and let's make and let's make our parts anchored. So uh, part one dot anchored equals so hold up let's just go ahead and make a variable um bool value and then equals <clears throat> sorry um game dot workspace dot uh bool dot value um, so let's just go and check and check this. Um, and let's go ahead and make this uh, bool value. Uh, let's go ahead and do part two dot anchored equals bool value. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna go and anchor that, or I mean not anchor. <laughs> sorry. Um, enter just so we can make it more organized um so uh now these should be in the air their transparency should be uh, 0.5 and then their color should be blue and they should just be anchored in the air just like that uh now they just stay in the air um so uh we can also just change it uh here i'll actually just run it real quick just to show you uh, actually, no, I don't think this is gonna work because, like, the script only run, runs once. Uh, so, like, if we just do this, I don't, yeah, like, they're not gonna change because it only runs once and then the script is over. Um, now you can, like, keep repeating it, um, but we're not gonna get into that today. Um, now, if we don't want it anchored, uh, we can just do that. Now we're just gonna uh, set our can collide uh, to, so it's not gonna be anchored at all. Um, one second, uh, can collide equals, and then we're gonna type in bool value. And then uh, part one dot, I forget. Yeah, can collide. My bad. Equals bool value. So um, now, if we uncheck this, what should happen is when we run it, just give it a second to load up. It should just um, fall and go right through the base plate. And then if we check it, um, uh. Give it a second. You can see that's anchored in the air, but if a player touches it um, and can collide is set to uh, false, like it went through the base plate, the, a player should just go right through the part. So they can't like stand on it or anything. Uh, um, anyway, that was just a quick tutorial about uh, values. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Um, go join my Roblox group in the description below. And um, I will see you guys uh, next time. Uh, peace. Uh, what are you still doing on the video? I said, it's time to leave.